and move your ass. I'll kick you square in the ring or you don't move. Come on! Can't get this slow-eyed cock lump to cross the bridge. It's because she's scared of something in the trees over there. There's what now? Father, throw your axe at those trees on the other side of the bridge. The ones with the white trunks. Smart or something, boy. You're a boy, aren't you? Ha! Does she have a name? I don't know. Rude bastard ain't ever ask mine, so I ain't ever ask hers. Ah! Ha! What's yours? Brock. Better look at. Say, uh. You're not gonna believe me, but that axe you got, uh, it was me what made her. Me and my brother was one of our best. So don't let nobody else go work on her except for us two. Ah! You gotta handle her special, or she'll wreck beyond fixing. I can enhance her for you right now if it so pleases you, son of a bitch. So what say you? Ah! You are right. I do not believe you. Come, boy. There's a rune in the shape of a fork under the grip. No, digger beat ya, Dumber. That was our brand, my brother and me, before we split. I got half of it right here, see? Look, you want I should upgrade her or not? Very well. I expect an improvement. So, where's the other half of the brand? Oh, my dumb brother's got it. But I got all the talent. Look! Hey, your paw can kill. You gonna learn to do that too? I'm not sure. This road, it leads to the mountain. Should put you in the right direction, sure. Want to see my wares again? Brock. Fuck else you need. How come your brother's got half your brand? Cause I ain't in a working relationship with that foot licker no more. I wasn't about to let him use it without me and he likewise. Only thing to do was split the brand 50-50 down the middle. Guess that was the last thing we saw eye to eye on. What? You want a hug? Hit the road! Sorry. Be extra careful out there, you two. The roads are teeming with more than usual compliment of dead assholes lately. You've noticed. Any idea where they're coming from? Maybe they ran out of rooms in hell. Or could be Odin stirring up trouble again. Or maybe they all got lost. Why don't you ask one while he's chewing your face off? Uh, we'll just be careful. Thought so. Come. It was nice meeting you, Brock. I'll be thinking of a name for your beast. How about I name her fucking Gratitude? Hey, fucking Gratitude, come over here. I like it. If it isn't the bearded beaver in his sack seed, then I got something for you too. Brock? But how did you? None of your fucking business. Now get in here. I got something for you. And don't go making pig eyes at my spot. I saw it first. Okay. What do you think he wants? To test our patience. When word gets out about my new shop, folks will finally come out of hiding. They'll be clawing all over each other just to catch a whiff of my wares. You watch.
You rust around like that everywhere? Yeesh. Catch! The pile of rocks there? With that key of Yggdrasil, you can open a magic door to the branches of the World Tree. A shortcut between the realms. If you ever see them out in the world, use it to get back to me quick. But it's only one way. Straight back here and nowhere else. And whatever you do, never, never, ever, never, ever Throw yourself over the edge of the path, lest you want death. Yeah, I don't see us wanting that. <clears throat> Whoa. Sure is foggy here. Another dwarf. Should we... No. He is of no consequence. Uh, excuse me, but, um... <laughs> How did you come by that, uh, axe? That is my concern alone. And, uh, while I won't dispute that, I, I know that blade. It was one of ours, but, uh, <laughs> we didn't make it for you. Step aside. I can't. See, the woman we made it for, I was, uh, well, I am quite fond of her, and I would be somewhat displeased if it turns out that <laughs> you did something to her. It was my mother's. She left its father before she died. Face dead? I'm very, very sorry to hear that. She was a fierce warrior. And a good woman. Okay. I... We'll make improvements to the axe. But... Nobody asked you to. Well, it's, it's true, but... But knowing your mother... <laughs> she would have insisted I repair that act of vandalism perpetrated against her axe by my... Brother. I knew it! You are Brock's brother! The other half of the brand's here. The blue one is your brother. Yes. Though my talents are vastly superior. <laughs> no boast. I swear to Freya. Do not undo his work. Improve upon it only. Yeah, but can you can you put it down over there? That handle is No. Filthy. Okay, then. I'll just... I will just... Oh. 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 Oh, is that dried blood? Oh. So, what were you working on? Oh, that. I call it the Sky Mover. Just up that mountain waits a treasure trove of rare resources. Once I mine it... I'll need a way to bring it all down. And you know how to fix it? Not even a little. Did you really make that axe for my mother? Oh, I'd recognize it anywhere. Ask me! It's one of our best. Infused with the echoing screams of twenty frost trolls. Give or take. But why her? How did you know her? She sought us out, in the beginning. She was... a special woman. She wanted to protect people. I suppose we thought it was a chance to give power to someone who'd use it for good. She even spoke our native tongue. She'd say... Madurin Sem Gengur. Egen Vigum Hans. Gengur I. That's right! That's impressive! I see a lot of her in your eyes. You know? Thanks, Cinder. Don't touch me! What? I didn't! I won't. I'll come back later. Be careful where you're going. There's nobody nice out here anymore since all the people left. I mean, I hate to generalize, but, um, mostly they just try to kill you. Good tip. Um, I know it's not my business, but if I were you, I'd wash off that symbol painted on your neck. We were told it would help protect us. 
Was that a lie? Oh, no, it's a protection stave, all right, but you can't render that pigment into paintable texture without blending it with boar urine. And is that really better than death? Maybe a little. Well, well, it's your neck. <laughs> How are you here before us, Dwarf? We were told our path was the only one between realms. Well, it may be the only way for you to travel, but we dwarves are full of surprises. That is not an answer. Ah, hang on to that sense of wonder. There's so little mystery once you've amassed the wealth of arcane knowledge that I have. Where to comb the realms for exotic resources. How to craft them into creations that defy imagination. To the novice, I'm sure it all seems like magic, but... Uh, oh, all right. It's magic. Are you happy now? Sindri, have you always been so... Clean? Huh. Don't I wish. No, I was just as unsanitary as the next dwarf until the day a Vanir witch set me straight. She discovered with her magic there are hundreds of thousands of tiny beasties on everything around us. Oh, so small you can't even see them. No. It's true. And if they get inside you, they make you sick. But the witch told me there's one wood, the oak, that's a natural deterrent. Stops the beasties from spreading. So now, I make all my handles from oak. See? I think of these things. Okay, back to work. So how come Brock's blue and you're not? Why? Oh, it's fine. Very good question, actually. You see, my brother's not as careful as I am. In fact, he prefers to work with metals using his own bare hands. Ugh. No gloves. Says it's the only way he can hear what it wants to be. Touch enough raw silver and it changes your skin irreparably. That means forever. I wouldn't bring it up to him, though. <laughs> You know how sensitive you can be. I guess that makes sense. Sindri, why don't you just make up with your brother already? Me? Make up with him? Because he's an obstinate pighead incapable of change. Because he says the most terrible things about me. Just because he's insecure about his own work. Which, let me tell you, is subpar. Because he blames me for... for the things that aren't my fault. Huh? Like what? Would you pardon me, please? I need to collect myself. There's an abandoned temple in Midgard that a fellow dwarf converted to his personal storeroom. Packed it with all sorts of treasures he collected during his travels throughout the realms. Throughout the realms? Which ones did he go to? What did he collect? Fafnir was a, shall we say, aggressive collector of magical artifacts. The more he acquired, the more he desired. There was no realm too dangerous, no relic too hazardous. He once ventured deep into Niflheim for a whetstone of all things. Huh. I bet that was quite the whetstone. Does this story have a point? Yes, it does. I just happen to have an entry stone to Fafnir's storeroom. You might find something useful in there. Neat. Thanks, Sindri. You're very welcome. Oh, and uh, if you find that whetstone, well, it sure would be nice of you to bring it to me. Brock! We just came back from another realm. And we met your brother. Wait, not that order. Did you let that seed sop put hand to your blade? Hmm? You do know he lost his talent, right? Just up and left him one day. <laughs> Tried taking me down with him. Hmm. Did he botch up on a girl? Quite the opposite. Hmm. Yeah, even a blind pig farts up a truffle now and again. But you know what really counts? Consistency. And I got that coming out of all of my parts. What did you do? It's better. Good! Now when you're done gawking, I got a favor to ask. What is it, Dwarf? There's this alchemist on Vari. Been working out in the Velander mines. You haven't heard from him in maybe, I don't know, a hundred winters or so. 
probably dead, but uh, maybe you can find him. He's dwarfing like me. Where's the fancy green ring? Owes me a favor. You look? If it is on our path. Oh, I see how it is. Not a something for nothing type, are you? Fine. If you find Donvari, I'll make him whip you up something special. This entry stone here ought to get you inside those mines. Hey, Brock. You found something interesting. Did you now? Well, color me interested. Holy Heimdalls! You know what this is? The heart of an ancient. The heart of a... Oh, yeah. Well, that, that's what it is. It wasn't easy to kill. Oh, really? Giant monster made out of rocks don't go down easy? Shocker. I need that alchemist for something I'm stewing up for you. If in your smarts, you'll find him. What realm you gents shaking off? Let me guess. All fine? How'd you guess? I'd know that smell anywhere. Used to spend my fair share of time there, but, uh... I ain't allowed anymore on account of the, uh, incident. What happened? Well, ain't too sure your daddy's gonna like me talking about it on account of all the swearing and stealing and fucking involved. What? Don't judge me. You're the one came in all reeking of elf. Stirs up a man's memories. Go on now! I got things that ain't gonna hammer themselves. Say, uh... You didn't happen to run yourself a foul of a scruffy fella. About yay high, doesn't feel pain, sounds drunk, but probably just slow. <laughs> hey, how'd you think I feel about it? If I'd wanted a seer business, I'd have set up shop outside a brothel. Or a fighting pit. Or a fighting brothel. Uh did he say Aesir? Like gods? No. Brock, what do you know about the serpent in the lake? I know he's too damn big. Uh, all right. We will oh, see. I was wondering who woke up every drogger in the mountain. Should have figured. You had a way around the Black Breath all along. Now don't go thinking I could have gotten you past it, you big sack of meat. I got ways around most everything, especially up here. Time was, my folk had the run of this joint. Improved the design of the Jotnar traps and built workarounds to boot. Why you think they're so devious? Oh, that reminds me. Watch out for traps. Wait, boy. It's Sindri. Can you kill something that big? If we can catch it off balance. I can distract him. What are you doing? We have to help him. Break right. Find an angle. Wait for my mark. Thank you. Wow. We actually did it. And you! Ah! Uh. But, 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 nobody's killed a dragon for hundreds of years. Not since the grand culling of the worms. And unless I'm mistaken, you did all that for me. You are mistaken. The dragon was simply in our path, nothing more. You deny it all you want, but you saved me. And that deserves compensation. What are these? Braided mistletoe arrows. Straighter than Heimdall and perfectly weighted. Oh. Thanks? Oh. Okay. Hold on. Uh, ooh, not that. Um, have you seen my brother again? Yeah. He said you lost your talent. <laughs> oh, and that I'm selfish. No. I'm sure. That I value a weapon's look. No. Over its purpose. That I'm pretentious. No. And uptight. Fussy. I know what he thinks, but he can't hurt me any- Ah! Burn that. I do not have time for this. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. I have a better idea. What? I just need a tooth from that dragon.
Watch where you grab that. Oh, ah, never mind. Oh, so unclean. Oh, so, so unclean. Oh, oh, the smell. Perfect. That should do. Oh. Yeah. I am not touching that. Just hold it out. <laughs> now, run that along the string of your son's bow. Just humor me. Atreus, your bow. Two passes should do it. Ah, gently, now. Whoa! Oh, sure. Now you're impressed. Um... Oh, how do I... Oh, oh I see. You figured it out on your own, then. Just... Never mind. I wasn't just explaining the beautiful and complex artistry of my craft or anything. No, just... Anything to help you. Yep. Where'd you learn how to do that, Sindri? Well, after Brock and I parted ways, I undertook some study in Vanaheim, truly mind-expanding. Now and then, I need new inspiration to grow creatively. Part of why we split up, my brother and I, he's stuck in his way, so our work stagnated. Sure, we mastered weapon-making, but then what? Change is a part of life. If you can't adapt, learn to thrive, you'll be left in the dust. And that's filthy. Okay. Until next time. Before you go, see that you take special care near the peak. I'm pretty sure Odin is protecting something up there, and you don't want to get on the Aesir's bad side. Who? Us? Rock! 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 What? I'm on a fucking break! Don't hear me screeching at you whenever you're twiddling your short and curlies. Leave him, boy. No, Pat. Well, you already soiled my solitude, so you may as well join me. You're not hungry. Good. It's not what I was offering. Saw your brother again. Congratulations. And I'm sure you'll let him go and roger my axe good and plenty again, hmm? Let's see the damage. Mm, little canker throat wouldn't know proper weight and balance if it were dangling off his chut. Mm. Is he eating well enough? I guess. Good. All better. Now what the fuck else you want, huh? Times he gets so wrapped up in his work, Sentry has it the sense to sip us up. And if he does remember, good luck getting him to cook his own meat. Guess I got all the stomach in the family. <laughs> you along with the smarts. You miss him. What, that spit pister? What do you know? I just mean hey, that- Hey, do you mind? Trying to concentrate here? Already on a break from my break. You scare up that alchemist what needed finding? Hey, where's your beast of burden? What do you mean? I ate her. Fat bits of her out just a while ago. What is wrong with you? What? Her milk ran dry. She was your friend. Then she'll be happy I'm so well fed. Shit bricks, boy, you got a real sentimental streak, know that? Don't get yourself confused out there. I'm getting back to it. Wow, that was, uh, something that, uh, fight. Here, catch. Well, that was a waste of a perfectly good hour. How were you not seen? There is nowhere here to hide. Oh, that. It's a little trick my people can pull. A special way of not being seen. You can be invisible? More like I can step into the realm between realms. And your mind doesn't understand what it's seeing, so... It sees nothing at all. 
That's how we avoid ever having to actually use the weapons we craft. It, uh... It doesn't seem to work on dragons, though. <laughs> Your brother wanted to know if you're getting enough to eat. I guess I could tell him you are. Brock was asking about me? Was there meat on his breath? You let him touch this again. Come on, then. So that's how Brock was in the temple right after the water dropped. He stepped between realms. Okay, now, shush. I need complete silence for this. There you go. Careful! My shop's right here! Oh. The travelers. Oh, disgusting. Mm. Smelly, covered in God knows how many little beasties, but gorgeous armor. Let's see if I can't make something more sanitary. Yes? Found anything good in Fafnir's storeroom, like maybe a whetstone? Hey, Sindri, have you met Mimir? Uh, if you mean the severed head that keeps blinking at me, please keep it away. There is no possible way that's hygienic. Oh, that's nice. Lovely to see you too, Sindri. Nob. Why? Is that a piece of my braided mistletoe arrow adorning your quiver strap? Oh. A little memento of your good pal, Sindri. I'm so... terribly touched. Hey! Did you hear? Magni, the Aesir god, son of Thor, dead! I know! Now Modi's on a rampage across Midgard, looking for the killer, swearing that once he finds him, he'll... Oh, shit, that was you guys. We should probably discuss that more quietly. Or not at all. I think that's a great plan. What? Hey! You reek of foreign magic! Sweet Nana's nethers. What are those? I've never seen the like. That's gotta be a family heirloom. No. Nor will it ever be. Son. My brother and me created me all near for the big idiot. I know from quality. And them? Them special. Hey. Where's the little turd? He has fallen ill. No. What happened? Aesir? No. The fault is mine. And my responsibility to make it right. Well... We all gotta take responsibility sometime. Huh? Say, what can I do to help him? I can do things. When I should tag along? No. Your work here is enough. All right. So where are you off to in such a hurry? The realm of the dead. Helheim? Shit, this is serious. Psst. Yeah. Shh. I ain't supposed to be here. It's cold. Real quick, give me your blades. Why? Yeah, I said I'd help you, and I aim to. Come on! Oh, my equipment's in Midgard. Be right back. Yeah. You don't suppose he'd make those, do you? There. And now they're ready for the winds of hell. Just target this magical glowy bit here with your blades and throw! Now target that wind trap with your blades. It's that little ball hanging in the middle of the door there. See it? Just let her loose. Now you can absorb and release the winds of hell whenever it damn pleases. So you're welcome and I'm leaving. This place is cold enough to freeze a pair of pigeon eggs. I sometimes wonder if there was once some sort of accident in his brain. We have been away too long. Hey, so you know that shortcut between realms? Well, I made it better. Or I might have broke it. We use that. I know you do. 
So I took a few gusts from them winds of hell and made it so it ain't just one way. Now you can use it to travel to and from. If I didn't break it. Then we can take it to Freya. There's an idea, brother. Might be some kinks to sort out, but you'll make it. Just go, brother. So what? Excited to finally see the land of the giants? Yeah, but also sad the journey's almost over. Oh, what if we get to Jotunheim and there aren't any giants there either? Makes little difference to us. Fulfilling your mother's wish is what is important. Ah! Oh, don't go anywhere. Be with you in two shakes. Father, can I tell him? No. Tell me what? Did you put this wheel in your mouth? Oh, God. I I'll vomit. I I'm not kidding. I'll throw up on it. It is nothing. A family matter. Oh. Uh, 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 oh. I can tell you a thing or two about family matters. Oh. Uh, uh. Let me guess. Your brother isn't as talented as you, and his work is junk. Um, those things are accurate. Your point? It's all you ever talk about, over and over. Do something about it or shut up already. I see. Yeah! We're sick of hearing about little people's little problems! Um... Alright. That hurt a little. Let's have a look at your gear then. Can you make it? Is it a weapon? Armor? Or likewise an instrument of war, of which I'm a master at shaping? No? Then forget it. Even if I wanted to make such an insignificant goo -gaw, I'm liable to chink my tools working on something so delicate and ladylike. Then shingle it. Pattern weld the item with scap slag. Keep the layers thin. Alternate the overlay. Okay, smart guy. And where do you propose to find a lump of quality scap slag? Last time I saw one, I could still get rigid down south. Shut your mouth, is that... Where did you... I had to get my hands dirty. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't just stand there! Let's do this! What? You? You're fine with working on something that's not a weapon? Oh, hell, why not? <laughs> what? I can grow, too. Oh, wa watch the spine. Keep your wrist loose. No, you keep your wrist loose. Yeah, I need more heat here. Coming up. You gonna temper that steel longer? I don't need to. I triple quenched it with Draugr oil. See, how inventive and sanitary. You clever little beaver. Never too late to learn a new trick, is it? <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah. Here it is. Nope. Don't forget this. Quit your grinning. It's downright unsettling. <laughs> it's just nice to see you together. But now the rune on your brand looks different. Yeah, the price of uh, reforging something what broke. I knew it. You two love each other. Oh, cut it out, Francis. You're gonna get me all weak. I like the new one better. Don't you? We have work to do. No. Hey, look who's back up and about. Didn't I tell you it'd be fine? Something else we can do for you? No, just glad you guys worked it out. Ah. Well, 
I could say the same to you. Huh. I guess I was getting a bit full of myself. Told him what he needed to hear, how's it sounds to me. Just the same. I'm sorry for how I spoke to you, Sindri. Can you forgive me? Already have. Like you said, it all worked out. Now, let us get back to work before I get... Sentimental. Hey guys, question for you. Anyone know where we can find Mimir's other eye? Oh. <laughs> That's... <laughs> I'm sorry. As a matter of fact, Odin asked me to... <laughs> He wanted me to build a... He showed it to me, you see, and I... The coin! Sorry, will you excuse me? Well, that was useless. You know, it was about that same time that Odin came around looking for me to build a statue with some sort of hidden compartment. Now, that not being a weapon and the Aesir being a bunch of pox-speckled cockers, I too saw fit to decline. But I know we got it built just the same. What was the statue? It's that one of Thor out there flashing his sack to the lake. The statue that the serpent ate. Sorry about that. Feeling much better. How are we supposed to look inside the snake? Inside? Oh no! <laughs> We'd better go see what the world serpent has to say about that. <sighs> well, lads, I don't know what lies ahead. But now would be a good time to make sure your gear is ready for the worst. Anything you need to do, I'd do it now. Nice. Once more to the horse. Listen, the last thing you two need up there is a decomposing heat ruin in the moment. Why don't I wait for you here? This is between you and the boy. True. But if someone were to fight... My lady sifts soft, perfect sloshers. You done did it. Sorry. We had to see this. <laughs> oh, no. No, 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 no. Fine, damn it. Fine. Watch the head till we return. I can do this. No, no, I can't. Oh. Okay. Ready. Come. It's Fimble Winter. I can feel it in my stroke. This is the biggest. Stop saying that. Oh, you're making me very nervous. It was bound to snow sooner or later. That ain't just snow and you know it. It's the end times. How dare you make me the voice of reason? Guys? Just discussing the weather. Bit of a cold snap lately. What he means is, Fimble Winter's upon us, boys. The winner to end all winners. I can feel it in my scroll. E yeah. We... We heard. So, if you're heading home, try to keep moving, and also, to not die. Or, if you're not heading home, same advice. I didn't think we'd see you out here, since you and Brock got back together. Everything okay? Oh, better than ever. You know, I really think we've both grown in our years apart. So how come you're back here? Just catching some fresh air. Look, I love my brother, but he still smells like a fetid dung pile. You, uh, didn't happen to find that whetstone, perchance? We found no whetstone. This dagger belongs to the reaver who took it. They took most of the good stuff. Oh? Well, here, take this. In exchange for the dagger. The dagger you brought me is quite interesting, an artless design, but the construction is sound. Where in the temple did you find this? In the river's back. Oh. Oh. He mentioned he was part of a larger clan. Maybe they took the Woodstone? 
Quite possibly. I know I've seen this design before. I have a favor to ask. Just a small favor, really. Do you remember the dagger you gave me? The dagger stabbed into the reaver's back? His own son killed him? Yeah. I haven't forgotten that one. Well, I traced it to a group of reavers that operate out of the Northry stronghold. I'd wager that's where they took their haul from Fafnir's storeroom. Along with that whetstone that I could use to help you? <sighs> How did it go at the stronghold? We found your whetstone. Oh, wonderful! This staining is unusual. The Reavers used it to smash another Reaver's face in. Oh, wonderful. Here, for your trouble. I can't wait to test out the new whetstone. It may not look like much, but it's practically humming with magic. I've needed a new one after my brother borrowed the last one. I saw him spit on it. To lube it up, he said. I didn't ask for it back. Better not be fighting with your brother again. Just because he's gotten a little less annoying over the years doesn't mean I ain't got a customer base of my own to keep happy. Oh, yeah? Who's that? Well, you came back here, didn't you? Fair point. What'd you find? Your alchemist. I'm sorry, Brock. The hand is all we could find. Still wearing the ring. There was a soul leader inside. And, well, it must have burned away the rest of him. Suppose you'll still be wanting some compensation, huh? Naturally. Naturally, he says. Miani for Uxi. I'll take a closer look at this here ring. Maybe Anvari left a bit of magic inside for he groped. Dwarves can do that? Sure, dwarves and magic jewels is like flies and pig lips. Supple ones. Ugh. I'm not as interested as I thought. Oh, the What do you want, dwarf? I got another lead on my old pal Anvari. Meet me at the Lawn Soother Mines. There's some fancy dancy loot in it for you. Another lead? But we already found him. Well, found his hand anyways. I'll explain at the mines. These ones is just south of the river pass. Now you two want something, or are you just gonna stand there all gag-scrapped and slack-jawed? Well, looky who decided to show. Talk to this here ring. Uh, what? I can't hear thoughts from rings, Brock. It's talking to me! It's Anvari! Ha! Knew it! He says he went to the Velander Mines to... observe his mistake? But then the Soul Eater attacked, so as he was being ripped apart, he cast a spell that removed his soul and put in this ring. And then he... What about all his stuff? Uh... huh? Anvari had a workshop here with all sorts of posh doodads and ornatory tools. And one beaut of a hammer. You make mention of it still in there? Uh, you're upsetting him. Your point? You fellas take Anvari with you and go have a look-see. If you find his hammer, I'll whip up something real nice for you. Hey now, don't go forgetting your entry stone. To find that hammer, or you're too busy looting every keyhole and cranny. Here, the alchemist's hammer. His spirit is a nuisance. Yeah, <laughs> Anvari always was an asshole. Hell of an alchemist, though. Hand him over here and I'll melt him down. What? You're going to melt down your friend? A trapped soul's what I need to give your reward some extra oomph. You don't want it? Father, we can't do that. Here, you hold on to him. He's really useful, I promise. Fine. So long as he proves his worth. Kid's a bit of a softy, huh? Eh? Well, he'll grow out of it. My brother and me got a new project. Come see us at the temple if it so please you. My brother and me got a new project. 
Now that we're on speaking terms. What do you want? With the whetstone and hammer you've retrieved for us, Brock and I can construct the Devegrathiker, dwarven armor of legend. We just need three more mythical ingredients before we set to hammering. Which are? Dunno. Armor's pure legend, and the details is fuzzier than a wolver's butthole. Do you expect us to find parts from a legend? Oh, Motsognir the Dwarf King found two of them. Everyone knows that. But when he went looking for the third, poof, he vanished. Maybe he'll find some clues at his stronghold in Konungsgard. And looky here, a Konungsgard entry stone. It's got your name on it. How fucking strange. Greetings, and welcome to Konungsgard. I just want to make sure you're good and prepared before heading in any further. There's all manner of nastiness left over from the Mad Dwarf King's foul practices. What kind of practices? Oh, various... sacrificing, dark enchantments, blood, magic, and so forth. Quite common among the older dwarves, unfortunately. Old habits are hard to break. You boys look right beaming. Well, the squirt does. Can't see squat behind that furzel fuzz you call a beard. We found the materials. But they're so weird. How do you build a piece of armor out of something so... So... Nanya. Nanya? Nanya fucking business. Trade secret. We get our ways. Oh. So how was your trip to Jotunheim? Will you give them a little privacy? The kid just found out he's a giant. He doesn't need you interrogating him. Brock, you knew? Oh, we knew Faye was the last guardian of the Jotunar left in Midgard. That's why we made her the axe. We hoped it could restore the balance of power. After Thor went all breezer with our hammer. Though in the end, it seems, she chose another path. She chose, well, you. Both of you. I suppose she figured that was the best chance for the Giants to live on. And now, I suppose, that's up to you. How about that? A young Jotun with us the whole time. And the son of Laufey, the just... Oh, I should have seen it before! I'm surprised you're here, Sindri. This mist is pretty gross. You think I can't handle a little cursed mist? Well, you're right. I'm trying to build some armor that will lessen its effects. The materials I need are all right here in Evaldi's workshop, but they're blanketed by this nauseating mist, of course. Wait for it. The last known location for such armor is in the workshop's center chamber. The entrance is sealed, but I could craft you an entry stone with enough mist echoes. There it is. I wouldn't recommend staying in the mist for too long. That stench will stick to your hair, your weapons, your armor. And I will not touch your gear until you burn all the tiny beasties off in the fires of Muspelheim. Also, it will kill you. Just make sure you give yourself enough time while you're hunting for echoes. I know you two get carried away, breaking pots and looting corpses. What is this place? You are standing at the entrance to Evaldi's workshop. A testament to the ingenuity of dwarven engineering. Why does it smell so bad? It's quite foul, isn't it? Well, that's a long story, but uh, quite simply, Evaldi messed with forces he shouldn't have, and you're breathing the consequences. So, Evaldi created this mist? No, no, Niflheim has always been a land of mist. And snow, endless snow, and, and wind, and, and ice. Really, it's never been a pleasant location. But, Ivaldi found a way to harness all that frosty power, and built marvels that shocked the realms of both man and god. Wow. Yes. Wow. So then what happened? Hmm? After Ivaldi built all the marvels. Ah, yes. Well, Odin wasn't keen on the idea of dwarves building contraptions that challenge his power, so he intervened. Ivaldi was furious and retaliated. From there, things escalated, and well, here we are. Cursed mist. And this is why gods are best avoided.
Ooh, looks like you found enough echoes. And you're not dead. Very impressive. Sindri, how do you make anything out of mist? Odd as it sounds, the dwarves who lived here could craft marvels out of the mists of Niflheim. Keep an eye out for more mist echoes. I could put them to all sorts of use. Is that what I think it is? Useless armor? Useless? Oh, ye of little faith, this armor was worn by Ivaldi himself. Sure, it's seen better days, but I can restore it with more mist echoes. And it'll help with the effects of Ivaldi's curse. Unless there is something of value in this workshop, there is little point in staying here. You saw all the chests in the center chamber, yes? Plus all the goodies tucked away towards the back of the workshop. And the three round tears, of course. But might want to be careful with those. Why's that? It's a literal tear in the fabric of reality itself. You want to reach your hand through there? Be my guest. You must like the heat, Brock. Heat's damn useful in my line of work. Even makes space itself more pliable. Take those magic doors you love so much. Round here they all go right to one another. No prod from old Brock. Go up yonder and wake some up, you'll see. Getting around moose pulls a cinch. As long as you don't end up cooked. Been putzing around Niflheim, have we? How can you tell? I'd recognize Ivaldi's stench of failure anywhere. Plus, you still got some mist on your shoes. 